Hey guys, Peter here to tell you about the latest from Raider, Trial by Chaos, out April 7th as a self-release. This album has 8 tracks, 39 minutes in length, and this is the band's second full-length studio album. They are a Canadian death rash metal band. I'm not a big fan of the design of this record, not that they didn't have the right songs, I just don't feel like they have the right order in order to make the album as engaging, as dynamic, as fluid as possible. This is a record because of its intensity and aggression, and consistent intensity and aggression and the overbalanced nature that it has could have really used an intro track but not just any intro track an intro track that would connect with the second song on the album so it offers a sense of continuity almost making you feel like both of them are actually just one really long track broken into two parts this would be the best way to start an album that has this sort of momentum that has this sort of aggression because it would ease into the experience of listening to this album and it would make that process a little bit better for the listener this is also a record that offers two very different songs at the end of the album, Juggernaut, Cerebrivore, and Devour the Darkness. Two songs that stand out in the crowd. Different characteristics, different soundscapes, a little bit more technicality in the overall composition and delivery. Songs that have different attributes all around. Having them together at the end, I don't think it adds fluidity to the record. It kind of bottlenecks the record at the end. Moving one of those songs, maybe Juggernaut's Cerebrivore, more to the middle of the record would be the perfect built-in interlude, if you will, for an album like this. So now you see a different picture. Now you see an intro track that bleeds into the second song on the record. You see a track that has almost an interlude built in into the overall design of the song in the middle of the record to almost break the overall aggression and intensity that the album has. And then finishing off with Devour the Darkness, a song that offers a lot more technicality in its sound this would be the best solution for a record that still would be very aggressive that still would have a lot of intensity but now it's a lot more entertaining it's a lot more engaging and the overall experience of going from first to last becomes a lot better for the listener as far as the sound is concerned i really enjoy the old school death thrash sound that this album has not just from the execution standpoint but also from the production behind it this is really a guitar driven, heavy riff driven album with that old school approach as far as the mixing and production are concerned. And I like that because I feel like it fits the band, it fits their musical attributes and also fits their vocalist. So you, when you press play on this album, you're almost transported back in time into the late 80s, early 90s thrash era, but with a death metal style vocalist behind it. That is the overall experience that you're gonna get. And I love the heavy riffs, and I love how much guitar focus and guitar driven this album is. You really feel that. You really feel like the guitars are the main focus, or at least are the main driver, and then everything else is there to complement that experience. One of the elements that's there to complement that experience is definitely the drums. I enjoy the drum sound on this record because it had power, it had oomph, it had substance in it, and it still allowed the guitars to be in the forefront while the drums are packing the sound behind it. But packing the sound with gusto, with momentum, the drums really have a lot of emphasis in the overall song designs and in the overall uh, sound experience that the album offers, but not getting in the way of how the guitars are driven, how the solos are over the top, and then the essence that the vocals offer to the overall compositions. So the guitar sound and the drums really offer a nice combination of elements mixed in with that old school production that makes this album have a sense of pattern or at least a sense of a signature sound from beginning to end which i also feel it's important for any band you want people to press play on a record hear a couple of notes and know who they're listening to this album i think better defines what the band is sound wise than its predecessor and it makes sense it's the second record the band knows a little bit more about themselves and what they want to do on their second album versus the first album so i honestly really enjoy uh, what the drums are offering how the drums sound and then obviously the overall uh, the overall impact that the guitars have and how much guitar centric the overall record really is once it comes to the vocals angelo nails it the vocals are very dynamic I honestly enjoy that approach because a lot of times on records like this, you have a one size fits all from beginning to end, not just from beginning to end of the album, but beginning to end of the songs. And that's not the case here. He has an interesting range. It stays connected with one another. It's not like he has a, a, a range that's uh, miles apart. The range is compact, but he still gives you two 
three at times different looks in terms of what he can do vocally and what he can add to the songs in terms of aggression and intensity and a lot of the death metal aspect uh, of the sound comes from his voice some elements obviously coming from the guitars a lot of elements coming from the drums but the death metal sound or the death metal portion of the sound a lot of it has to do with his own delivery he's more of a death metal vocalist than he's a thrash metal vocalist but that is a nice it is a nice attribute to have when you start to putting songs together that are intense, that are aggressive, that are in your face. I also like a lot of the layers that they use throughout the record. That's really important as well because it adds volume, it adds thickness, it makes the vocal performance at times feel a lot bigger matching the overall size and volume that the sound also has. And that was not something that they used ad nauseum throughout the record. They really sparsed it out, they really spread it around in order to give an impact when the songs really needed that vocal impact, also making the overall vocal performance, like I said earlier, a lot more dynamic. So vocally, this album is really strong from start to finish. I honestly don't think the album could have been any better vocally because everything always feels like it's matching. The intensity of the song is perfectly represented in the vocal performance. The range is where it needs to be, giving you enough ebbs and flows so that you don't feel like you're always getting the same performance sung in and sung out. The layers were extremely important as well. And then last but not least, definitely adding that level of aggression, that level of death metal into the overall experience. So vocally, this is an extremely strong record from start to finish. It's an album that has great songs, undeniable. I mean, this album really is built around eight bangers and, and, and that's what they put forward. It's an album that has an old school sound, an old school mixing, an old school production, an old school approach. So if you're a fan of that thrash metal era of the 80s, early 90s, this record brings you back. It takes you back in a time capsule and you're able to relive it. The only problem with this album is it doesn't feel complete. The album itself doesn't feel complete, but that's more of a structural thing. It's not really necessarily something that has to do with the creativity or something that has to do with the overall value of the individual songs that the album has. That, that's something that they have to look when they're working on the next record because it's not just about having eight songs that can stand on their own. It's about creating an experience very similar to a live show. The set creates an experience. An album should create a very similar experience. This album falls a little bit short on that side. As far as favorite songs are concerned, I wanna start off with New Dominion. Uh, great riff, uh, old school thrash, a song that has the drums really packing a lot of the sound and helping the guitars feel slightly bigger, really pushing the guitars forward. It's, uh, it's a song that lives off of the guitar riff, is a guitar riff driven song. It has thundering drum sound, like I said, and then you have vocals that absolutely rip it apart from start to finish with some vocal layers to also add volume to the overall performance. This is a track that at the end of the day, uh, the vocals have an impact because of what they offer, because of how dynamic they are. But when you get to the end of the song, all you're gonna remember is the guitar riff is contagious, the guitar riff is an earworm, and the drums sounded absolutely demolishing. Those are the two walkaways from this song, and those are the two things that are gonna make you wanna to listen to this song over and over again. The vocals are there just to complement that experience, but it's all about the guitars, it's all about the drums. Next we have Fearless, a more intense and aggressive track, but with a lot of the same attributes of New Dominion. Think about Fearless as New Dominion turned all the way to 11. Because when you look at the song composition, when you look at the design, when you look at the approach, when you look at the end results of how the song moves, of how it makes you feel, the intensity and aggression, the heaviness of the guitars, uh, the, the how guitar-centric the song is, living off of that riff and allowing that riff to be memorable and be hooky and be the reason why you come back to the song, the vocals in terms of what they add of aggression and intensity, this song is in a lot of ways uh, a mirror image of New Dominion, but like I said, turn to 11, because it has a little bit more of movement to it, it feels a lot more fluid, and therefore becomes a little bit more dynamic. But the two tracks are very similar, and if you like one, you're obviously gonna like the other. Last but not least, Devour the Darkness, uh, a more melodic, um, elaborate opening. And right there you see a difference from the other two tracks. The way this song starts is different. The way it makes you feel about it is different allows the song to have a, a, a different path from the get-go. It allows the guitars to be the motor of the song, 
but it also allows the song to not be as direct, to be more textured, to add more quality, to have more elements, to feel more technical at times. Vocally, perhaps one of the most dynamic songs that the album offers. So when you start looking at the technicality that you see infused, and not to say that this is a technical death metal song, it's not, but it's kind of pregnant. It's not a technical death metal song, but you start to see a lot of technical death metal elements creeping in into this song. It just doesn't go all the way. But when you see those elements there, when you see how dynamic the vocal performance is, you start to put all of these things together, you end up with a song that's completely different from the rest of the pack. The way it starts is different, the way it moves is different, the way the overall song comes across is different. And that's what makes this song stand out and that's what makes a song like this important. You, you need sometimes to be able to see the forest from the trees on a record that is so dense, that has so much aggression and so much intensity. And songs like these are important for that because it allows you to refocus and then re-engage with the rest of the listening experience, with the other songs that are more straightforward, that are more direct. So an impact of a song like Devour the Darkness cannot be understated on an album that feels this compact, this dense. This is it, Raider with Trial by Chaos, out April 7th as a self-release. Let me know your thoughts on the band on the singles, use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.